I grew up in Romford in the 80s, and at that time, my brother and I were the only black children in school. So it was an interesting upbringing. As soon as I was old enough, I left home, mostly because I wanted to be around black people, but also because I was just coming out in terms of my sexuality. Moving out of Romford and into Elephant and Castle was really exciting. I found lots of political spaces where women were talking about the sorts of things that I wanted to talk about. I'd found my tribe, if you like, I'd found my people. I had a child and I was thinking about a change of direction in my life and I decided that I wanted to study and train to become a social worker. London Metropolitan University was my preferred choice. It had a reputation for being very political, so it fitted in very well with my worldview. It kind of gave me permission to start challenging things, which I took into my work here now as a lecturer. I've come from a very performing background, so I feel very strongly that embedding arts into the social work curriculum is an excellent teaching tool gives students the opportunity to think differently about things. It also adds some creativity and a little bit of fun. I try to come out to my class within the first 15 minutes of the very first lecture. I just feel like it's really important for anybody that is queer to know instantly that it's something I'm very proud about. This is the first time that I have felt entirely able to be myself here at London Met. That's an amazing place to be at.